Hey, hey guys, what's up? It's your girl, Ginger Fox here. I'm going to be reacting to a video called the Gold Coin, uh, reactor. A reading, I have, geez, reading <laughs> a story called the Gold Coins. I'm sorry guys, I'm all over it today. But let's get into this, guys. So, I'm assuming this has something to do with treasure, probably. I could be far off, I've never heard the story before. I'm just going to guess and go from there. Let's get into this, guys. The gold coin to the ghost story. Ooh. <coughs> Sorry, I got yawns. <coughs> so I'm being a bit of a haunted house. And a young girl who discovers some hidden treasure in the middle of the night. That's all. The story of the gold coins is an urban legend that can be heard all over the city of Cordoba. Cordoba? Cordoba? In Spain. I'm not sure if you pronounce that properly or not. I don't know if I pronounce it properly. Over the years, it had passed from person to person by word of mouth. According to the legend, in the center of Cor Cordoba, <clears throat> I'm going to say Cordoba. It could be far off, but I'm going to kind of read it the way it, that it looks and sounds. There is an old uh, dilapidated dilapidated I think it's even, I'm not sure. Dilapidated? Dilapidated? House that is said to be haunted. The house is very big and it has many rooms. All the floors are covered in black tiles. Many years ago, it was owned by one of the most important and wealthy families in the city. The family consisted of a man, his wife, and their eight year old daughter. They also had a team of servants and maids who lived with them. Okay. Uh, one night, when the little girl was lying in bed, unable to sleep, she heard some noises in the corridor outside her room. Okay. Being a very curious child, they're very curious, indeed, she slowly opened the door of her bedroom and lo and, sorry, looked out into the long, dark corridor. And in the hallway, she could make out a small figure. Mm okay. Crouching down, <laughs> as her eyes adjusted to the darkness, she was surprised to see a young boy. The same age as herself. This is creepy. He was carrying a lighted candle in his hand, and he was lifting one of the small stone slabs on the tile floor. She watched as the young boy took something from his pocket and placed it beneath the tile. That's supposed to lord her in there, a trapper. <clears throat> After he replaced the tile, the boy suddenly vanished into thin air. What the fuck? So it's like a ghost boy. The little girl couldn't believe what she was seeing. She looked back down the corridor and noticed that one of the maids had been peeking out of her own bedroom door, and had witnessed the same strange scene. Oh, it's not just her. Interesting. The maid, the maid grabbed the candle and came hurrying over to the little girl. They both knew what they had seen. The young boy was a ghost. Indeed. Either it was a ghost or they're schizophrenic. <laughs> but definitely a ghost. So I would say it's a ghost. That's still creepy to see. Together they cautiously approached the place where the boy had been crouching. They listened to the tile and discovered that there was a large hole underneath it. Mm, I don't know. Seems kind of sus. Peering down to the light by the dim Peering down to the hole by the dim light of the candle, they know something glittering. Glittering. Sorry. Glittering. Glittering. There you go. Gl no, it's glittering, isn't it? Glittering, yeah. The maid held out the slab uh, as she lowered the little girl to the hole. This is not a good idea. What is going on? The child could not believe what she found. It was a pile of gold coins. Is it worth it, though? Is it worth it? Shaking with excitement, she gathered up the coins and handed them out to the maid. Then the maid grabbed her by the hand and pulled her out of the hole. Uh-uh. No. To replace the towel and, and it fit back perfectly, looking like it had never been removed. Okay. The maid could hardly believe her luck. The child could barely contain her excitement. Something's gonna get. Something's gonna fuck up around here, and I don't like it. <clears throat> Both of them decided that they should keep the discovery of the gold coins a secret. The maid warned the little girl not not to mention anything about their find to her parents or the other servants. 
but it's not really that big of a deal. You know what I mean? The next night, at the same time, the girl and the maid were peeking out the bedroom room, bedroom doors. I mean, I don't think the little girl even knows exactly what's going on. Like, she knows that she found coins, but she probably don't know, like, the value of it that much. Eagerly waiting for the ghostly little boy to appear. They watched as the spectral figure made its way down the corridor, lifted a tile, and placed some gold coins into the hole beneath. Someone, something's gonna happen. After he disappeared, the maid lowered the girl into the hole under the slab so that she could retrieve the gold coins. Night after night, they repeated the same process. It seemed as if the treasure would never end. Mm. Each time, by the, by the light of a candle, the girl got down to the small, narrow hole under the tile and gave the coins to the maid, who put them inside a big sack. Mm-mm, I don't know. I don't like this. One night, the, the candle was almost finished, and as the maid lowered the girl into the hole, the light started to flicker. Uh-oh, not good. The maid told to the little girl to hurry up. She had to get out of the hole before the candle went out, because they already had enough money. Oh my god, this is not going to go well. She pulled the little girl out of the hole, but at last moment, one of the coins fell from the child's hands. Don't get it. Don't get it. Don't get it. Without thinking, the little girl jumped back into the hole again. Of course, because why not? The maid tried to catch her, but in doing so, she let go of the tile and it slammed down, covering the hole. What the fuck? Suddenly, the candle went out. No! The maid began to panic. In the darkness, she tried to make her way down the corridor to her bedroom to fetch another candle. Okay. It was pitch black and she couldn't see a thing. She had to feel her way along the wall until she reached her bedroom door, searching desperately in the dark. She couldn't find any candles. Oh, God. With a lot of difficulty, the maid felt her way down the darkened corridor until she came to the kitchen. She rummaged through the drawers and eventually came across another candle. She lit it and quickly returned to the corridor. To her horror, the maid realized that she couldn't remember which tile the little girl was under. Fuck. Of course, because why not? In the dim light, she searched and searched, prying at each tile. But the corridor was so long and so wide, and there were so many tiles that she wasn't able to find the right one. Bitch, you better keep looking. Finally, she gave out and clutching her bag of gold coins, she went back to bed. Are you fucking stupid? This bitch. This dumb bitch. You lost a fucking child and you're like, ooh, I can't find her. Might as well go back to bed. Ooh, this, mm. In the morning, the, the little girl's parents woke up to find that their daughter had disappeared. Because of the maid. It's her fault. <laughs> they questioned the servants, but each one said they had no idea where the little girl could be. Be honest. Oh my god. A complete search of the entire house was organized, but it turned up nothing. The distraught parents were baffled by their daughter's mysterious disappearance. Fuck's sake, man. The maid decided not to say anything about what happened that night. You have a chance to save the girl. You are an idiot. The, a few days later, the mother was crying in her bedroom when she heard a voice calling out. She recognized the voice immediately. Oh, no. It was the voice of her daughter. The little girl was crying out for someone to help her. Oh no. Please help me. Let me out of here, please. The mother searched the house again. Sometimes the screams seemed to be coming from one part of the house. But when she got there, the screams sounded like they were coming from somewhere else. Try as they might, the parent could not pinpoint the source of the screams. Oh no. That's horrible. I feel so bad. The father dug up floors. Yes, dug up floors. Maybe they might help. Demolished walls and punched holes in the ceilings. All in an effort to figure out where the girls' cries for help were coming from. After almost destroying the interior of the house, the parents were forced to admit defeat. No. For months, they lived in the building listening to the insistent... In insistent, sorry... Cries of their beloved daughter, unable to do anything to find her. Oh, no. All this took its toll on their mental and physical health. Eventually, the mother lost her mind and committed suicide. Bro, what? The father, devastated by grief, moved away and died of a heart attack a few years later. What the fuck? This people... This is the maid's fault. It really is. The people of Cordoba say that this is a true story and the house is still standing today. Can we, like, did the maid get, like, in trouble? Did she get arrested? Like, did someone find out? Like, seriously. 
According to the legend, if you go there at night, they say you can still hear the screams of a little girl. Nuh-uh. Pleading for help. The house has become famous all over Spain, and sometimes teenagers visit the place at night to test their courage and see if they can find any gold coins. Yeah, fuck that. I'm good. Others go there to explore the huge building in an attempt to discover where the remains of the little girl were located. Nuh-uh. No. As yet, nobody has been brave enough to spend the night there. I'm good. I don't I don't want to. The house is now boarded up, and the neighbors often call the police because of the strange cries and screams that come from within. I would say. They say that when the police arrive to investigate, the only thing that they find is an old candle sitting on an old stone tall in the middle of the floor. Oh, fuck. Is that the one where she's under and died from? Under that tile, I wonder. Oh no! I hope you guys enjoyed that video, though. That was this is I, I really dislike that maid. She is so dumb, bro. I hate people like that. Like, oh no, no, no! I hope you guys enjoyed that video, though. As always, stay safe and take care. Love y'all. Bye bye.